To access layers inside of the base map app, just tap the layers icon at the bottom of the screen to the right of the compass. This will open up the layers menu. Inside, you'll see layer groups. You can expand the layer groups to see what layers are inside. To activate a layer, simply tap on the image icon. This will add the layer to the map. If it's a layer you use frequently, you can tap on the heart and that'll add it to your favorites. Favorites are located on the upper right and these are layers that you tend to use frequently. You can add as many favorites as you want, and that'll allow you to not have to go back into the primary layer menu to access that layer. If you want to know more about a layer, simply tap the information icon to see what the layer is all about. Once you've turned on any layers that you would like on the map, you can simply hit the X at the top right corner of the screen, and this will bring you back to the map. Layers may not render when zoomed out all the way, so you may have to zoom in some on the map to get a particular layer to render. If we tap on the map, layer information will render. Here we can see layer information about the government lands and the wilderness areas for where we tapped. To exit, just hit the back button at the bottom of the screen. Now we have private land ownership, and as we zoom in, we can see the layer render. If we wanted pull up a particular landowner, we just tap on a parcel on the map and that'll bring up landowner information. If you're interested in loading, loading species specific layers in a particular state, we can go back into the layer menu and we can go down to hunting layers. Inside of the hunting layers, you'll see specific state information we can kick up, click on Colorado and if we're interested in saying seeing elk units in Colorado we could tap on the elk units and have those render on the map. Now we can see this part of Roosevelt National Forest is in GMU 8 and we can see basic information about GMU 8. That's a quick rundown of how to use layers inside of the base map app. Hopefully that helps you this hunting season.